Governor. And first tonight, gas-powered leaf blowers. They've been a hot topic in Westport. For two years, elected officials have debated an ordinance to limit their use. And tonight, the measure came up for debate and a vote at the representative town meeting. Our Suzanne Goldklein joins us now with more on what happened. Suzanne? Good evening. Supporters of this bill went in tonight feeling optimistic. They feel like after two years of debate, they have a workable compromise. This plan would not entirely ban gas leaf blowers, but limit their use to certain times of the year and situations. Noisy nuisance or efficient equipment. They do make the noise, but they blow the leaves as well. At Brandman, you can buy leaf blowers powered by gas or battery. Everybody knows that batteries are, are the future. The industry is changing and uh, it's going to happen. Everybody knows that, but uh, it's just not there yet. But some members of the Westport Representative Town Meeting want the volume turned down sooner than later. I think this is something that people in Westport have been asking for us very loudly. For two years, a proposal to limit GLBs has been tossed around. I think we all, particularly during, during COVID, when everyone was living and working in close quarters at home all the time, we all felt that, right, the impact on our quality of life. Concerns include impact on health and pollution. A gas-powered leaf blower uh, emits about 200 miles per hour of wind speed, so you're not going to have fireflies. Exceptions in the bill include periods during the spring and fall, golf courses, and storm cleanup. We work 8, 10, 12 hours a day trying to get a job done. Um, they don't make batteries packs that last more than an hour, hour and a half. But many landscapers insist the shift makes their work harder and more expensive. I think people think that we're like the bad guys. We're not. We're working with the tools we have at hand. Um, I would love to be more environmentally friendly with the equipment we have, um, but that isn't there yet. It just hasn't been developed yet. If this passes, it would be phased in. It would not fully go into effect until next summer. And we did meet a few landscapers who say they support it because they've already eliminated gas equipment from their business. In Westport, Suzanne Goldklang, News 12, Connecticut.